Welcome Pisces. Welcome back. This is Renee. And this is your next 48 hours. This is what you can expect. What's coming forward. What is going on the next 48 hours Pisces? So let's take a look. Now if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Comment if you like. And if it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more at this time, okay? So let's take a look and see what's going on with Pisces. What's going on with Pisces the next 48 hours, please? Give me a message, Spirit. Okay, we have two. Wow, okay. Okay, we have the seven of emotion. That's the seven of swords energy, okay? Your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. Okay, so there may be a choice that you're kind of not wanting to make because maybe it'll make someone jealous or maybe it. it you feel like it's not the right time, but I feel like there's a choice that needs to be made here, okay? We also have manifest your dreams. This is the magician card, okay? So manifest your dreams. You're ready to go. There's no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps toward the changes you desire. If your small step, even if they're small steps, Notice signs that guide you in the right direction, as well as resources and support that miraculously appear. So look at this. There's a choice that you need to make and there's changes that you desire. So there's, there's something that you're really thinking about doing. There's something that you may be trying to manifest at this time, Pisces. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, Pisces. But there's something that you're trying to manifest at this time. I feel like Spirit is letting you know that you need to make the right decision for you. Don't think about the decision in the aspect that what another person might be feeling about what you want. Because I feel like, you know, you need to put yourself first. You need to make this decision that celebrates you not someone else okay because i feel like something something miraculous is about to happen there's going to be something that is changing something that you are manifesting that is very important to you in the next 48 hours okay so very interesting pisces at the bottom we have the five of actions yeah so there's someone who is not really respecting your boundaries. There's someone who, you know, really may want to argue your point, right? The five of action, that's the five of swords. That's, that's some kind of conflict, some kind of struggle, okay? Your angels want you to know that your current challenge pushes you to be assertive and self-confident. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama into your life. Okay? So I feel like, you know, there's someone who really doesn't want to want you to pursue something that maybe you've been dreaming or manifesting. There's someone who may be trying to start call trying to start drama or someone who is really trying to block you from that blessing. Someone is really trying to cause some kind of conflict to keep you from doing what you know is right for yourself, right? Um, let's take a look at what is going on for Pisces. Let's see about Pisces love life. What's going on with Pisces? Message for Pisces, please. Wow, okay. So, we have heartbroken. 
So there, there's some kind of separation or breakup happening. There, there may be a feeling of being lost or lonely. Um, you may be mourning a situation, mourning a relationship, or someone's mourning you, right? Um, and I feel like there's also a person who's kind of mirroring your image. So I feel like if this is a relationship that you're in, I feel like you both feel very similar. You know, you have very similar feelings at this moment. So you're both very sad. You both feel kind of left alone or left out in the cold here, okay? And we also have the palm tree. So I feel like you're looking for something that is going to create more stability, something that's going to help you become more stable and solid in your situation. And I feel like you're looking for that romantic growth, you know? You're looking for something that will grow and prosper into something more special, more intimate, more, more romantic. You know, you're looking for that special someone who is going to be very reliable and dependable with that palm tree energy. Okay, let's get a message here. Spirit, give me a message for this person with this energy. Tell me what they would like to say to Pisces. Give me a message for this person. What would they like to say to Pisces, please? What messages or intentions do they have for Pisces? Okay, I'm not available. So it could be a situation that you were in that this person is not emotionally available at this time or this person isn't physically available. Uh, they could be attached or you could be attached. Um, but I feel like, you know, you and this person are very um, feeling the same emotions here, right? Um, I, we have, I'm starting to understand our connection. So I, I get the feeling that this person is really feeling like this is or was a soulmate connection. That they're understanding what emotions kind of brought you together. Um, what feelings are kind of keeping you separated or keeping you tied to one, in, one another. Okay? And I also have, I'm feeling grateful for the spiritual lesson. So there's something that you or this person has learned from this situation. Some kind of growth that's happening here. Um, I feel like you or this person has really learned some kind of lesson in the situation that you're going through. And I feel like it's going to be very helpful for you in the end or in the next relationship or when you reunite, right? Okay, I get, um, I regret lying to you. So there's someone who lied in the situation. There's someone who didn't tell you the truth. And I feel like they regret ever lying to you. I feel like they understand that this may have brought them to this emotional situation to where you're not available. Um, but they love you unconditionally. You know, they still have a lot of love for you, Pisces. Look at this. I replay our conversations over and over. So they're constantly thinking. They're constantly thinking about the situation, really regretting um, some things that were said. I feel like they learned a big lesson in the situation. And now that there may be separation between you, I feel like they, they're now understanding what brought you together and what your connection truly is, right? Um, but I feel like either you have started another relationship or this person is in a relationship and or you're just not emotionally available at the moment. I feel like it could be that either one of you or both of you are currently healing, Okay, so that could be the reason why we're getting that, you know, I'm not available. It could be that you're healing, that you're just emotionally not available at the moment. You could be putting yourself first, putting your emotions first, focusing on other things, right? Um, 
It could be this manifestation, this dream that you're focusing on. You could be putting yourself into work. Okay? So let's get a message for Pisces. These are handwritten cards, but we're going to go ahead and get more of a message for Pisces. Okay? So what do we have for Pisces here? Spirit for the next 48 hours. What messages want to come out for Pisces? What messages want to come out for Pisces, please? Okay. Okay. Yeah, look at this. I was wrong. Someone feels very hurt. Someone feels like they were wrong, you know? Time to laugh more and get out and enjoy life. So someone is really trying to make the situation feel better, right? The answer is yes. So someone wants to say yes in this situation. Okay. I want to come home. Wow. And we have ask and you shall receive. Wow. Okay, I'm going to take two more. This is toxic and not for you. So there is some kind of situation that just didn't work out. That just wasn't meant for you at the moment. Yeah, maybe it's the past situation. Maybe it's the past that you need to let go of. Letting go of the past. This is, a, this is toxic and not for you. So yeah, it could be a past situation that you just need to pass by. You just need to let go of and release. Right? At the bottom we have let it go. Okay, so I, I feel like there are good things coming to you within this next 48 hours, but there is also something that you need to focus on letting go of some kind of toxic energy that you need to let go of because it's it's just bringing that to toxic energy to you and it's just bringing you down. Right. Uh, so let's get some tarot. Let's see what messages are coming out for Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please. The next 48 hours. What message do we have for Pisces? The next 48 hours. Message for Pisces. The Magician. Look at this. The Magician. You have two Magician cards here. Okay? So there's definitely something that you're manifesting. There's definitely something that you're creating. Um... And there's something that you need to focus on in order to really bring this creation to life. You know, manifesting something that you may have dreamed about doing, right? And we have the chariot card. Okay, so I feel like there's something that you're pursuing. The ten of wands. We have the king of swords. And the eight of cups. Wow, beautiful. Okay, at the bottom we have the King of Cups. So there's something that you're going to be pouring your emotions out over, you know. This could be your emotions overflowing about something good that's happening in your life. Something very emotional. Something that brings you a lot of abundance and happiness, okay. Um, but I feel like this could also be an offer that's coming forward. Someone who wants to really show you their emotional side. Someone who's very romantic and caring. Um, someone who wants to really tell you their truth here with the King of Cups, King of Swords. Someone who wants a real understanding of the situation. Someone who wants to bear their soul to you. Okay, so with the magician, excuse me, with the magician, the chariot, and the ten of wands, okay, I feel like there is definitely something that you're manifesting, something that you're trying to create, you're trying to bring forward. Um, there's something that you're definitely working on, you're pursuing your dreams, you're trying very hard to bring something down to reality, right? And I feel like you're moving forward. You're taking action. And something is going to work out for the positive. You're, you're 
currently on the right path to what this is you want to pursue. Okay? You're currently going in the right direction. Just keep moving in that direction. And don't focus so much on the things that may not go right. But, you know, focus on the things that do go right. Right? Um, lay down your burdens. Lay down your worries. You know, don't be so focused on what can go wrong. Focus on what can go right. Okay, that's what I'm getting with that Ten of Wands there. You know, get a better understanding and put the energy where it's needed. Okay, because I feel like you're very thoughtful at this moment. You're very um, intelligent about a situation. So there's something that you have a lot of information about. But I also do feel like there is something that you're releasing, something that you're letting go of so that you can move into the next phase of your life okay there's something that you're releasing because you know you can't take it with you okay so take heed to that information there okay we're going to go ahead and clarify a little bit because i want to know a little bit more about this reading for pisces give me more information for pisces Give me more information for Pisces. Tell me more about this message, Spirit. What's going on for Pisces? The devil. Okay. This may be Capricorn energy. This could also be some kind of negativity, some kind of toxic energy that you're releasing, something that needs to let go of, right? This could be some sort of addiction, some sort of bad habit that just needs to go that needs to be released okay this could also be some kind of energy from the past that needs to go so that this can be created in its place you know something better letting go of the old in order for something new to become real right and we have the temperance so be patient with yourself pisces be patient with yourself. Be patient with the time that you spend with yourself. Because I feel like whatever this is that you're releasing, it's going to take a lot of effort. It's going to take a lot of time. Have patience with your situation. Nothing's going to happen overnight. But everything will dawn for you in the morning, right? And I feel like, look at that beautiful sun, sunrise there. You know, as she's pouring her healing, as she's gaining her balance, you know, having great patience, pouring the liquid into the other bottle. I feel like the sun is rising, you know. There's healing. There's preparation. Um, there's great care in what she's doing. Okay, so I, I feel like it's all saying to have great care with your feelings, with your emotions, because that's what's going to bring you happiness and abundance. Okay, by, by releasing this negative energy, you're going to have more happiness. You're going to have more balance, more emotional fulfillment. There's going to be more abundance coming through for you. So whatever you're creating is going to bring you a lot of happiness. Once you figure out what this is that needs to be removed, right? And I feel like it's going to be a choice that needs to be made. You may be at a crossroads about your situation, but you will figure out the answer. You will understand what needs to be released for your greater good, okay? So that is what I have. Let's take a look at some angel cards. For Pisces. What do the angels need to say to Pisces? What message do they have for Pisces? Okay. Not the right, not the right time. Okay. So something just has to have the right time, divine timing, in order to be fully restored. 
okay so you know even though you're manifesting something it may not be the right time within the next 48 hours but something is is saying don't stop don't give up yet it will come to you but it will come in the right time you know everything will fall into place in its divine timing okay and we have give more information so there are more things that need to be worked out before um certain aspects of what this is that you're creating is going to come forward but i feel like you're going to find the answers you're going to figure this out okay and we also have romance so there will be romance coming into your life there is going to be a situation that is going to be of the romantic nature pisces okay so beautiful okay and at the bottom we have meditation brings answers so i feel like spirit may be telling you at the moment to dive deep pisces you're very intuitive you're the most intuitive of the horoscope so dive deep into your meditation and you'll receive the answers that that you're looking for okay something is going to be revealed and become more clear um, but i feel like spirit wants you to know to meditate in order to dive deep to get those answers okay so let's take a look at angel guidance what angel guidance do we have for pisces okay yeah we have focused intention exactly think about what you desire set your sights high expect the best possible outcome Okay, so be clear on what exactly it is that you're trying to manifest, what exactly it is that you're trying to create, you know, be specific, right? Because the more specific you, you are, the more the creative natures are going to start flowing and whatever you are trying to create is going to come forward as you speak it out of your mouth you know we also have voice of truth stand strong focus on your purpose release the fear of persecution and speak your truth so there's definitely some kind of truth that you are going to be letting out okay there's some kind of truth that you're going to be getting off of your chest you know you're going to reveal okay let's take a look at an angel number for pisces what angel number is coming up for pisces the next 48 hours please okay we have potential 333 three, three. your chance to reach your highest potentials is here perseverance has gotten you to where you are you have been through so much this guidance is here to show you that you are exactly where you need to be okay and your affirmation my potential is infinite i use my strength as my ally to pursue my highest good okay you also have protection okay so spirit wants you to know that you are fully protected you are covered you are covered in armor pisces okay you have protection this is your time to take confidence in all that you pursue the divine universe is working through you and protecting you time has come to allow all the doors of opportunity to welcome you with open arms okay and your affirmation is i feel the love and care of the divine protecting me I allow myself to pursue growth and opportunity. Okay? So beautiful. Okay, Pisces, this is your message. This one is what wants to come out. And I hope this helps you, Pisces. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Uh, if it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating more for you at this time, okay? And until your next reading, Pisces, 
many blessings to you. Love and light.